Greg Harper, because he was just at the Abbotsford Air Show, and uh, he's made it out alive. He uh, had a, some uh, tricky little uh, assignment there with uh, doing some loops and stuff in a plane. Let's see how he did. I think I've looked better. I know I felt better. I think I'm going to be okay. I don't think I'm going to get sick. And uh, this is why I feel this way. Take a look at this. I was in this interstate cadet. I had my handycam filming it. Our cameraman, Richard Paris, is on the ground. We were up here in Abbotsford, up way up in the sky with stunt pilot Kent Peach, hi, who is high. Uh, he knows what he's doing. He's performing at the Abbotsford International Air Show Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Check it out. What was going on up there? Because you saw, you looked behind you and saw me. I, I was closing my eyes through most of it. Well, I was a bit concerned to start out with because I, we had briefed that you were going to take off. And when I looked back, you had your eyes closed. So I... I thought, well, wait a minute, so I went, who's flying this thing? So I, I flew it. Not really. But I, but at, at first, I just took off, and we did a few little turns, you know. And I get, we had to turn right away to stay away from the runway. We took off on a taxiway to get everything in. There was so much action at the Abbotsford Air Show that we, everybody flying, we had to just use one part of the runway, to, the, the whole airport, I guess, to do this. So we did a quick turn, and that was the first thing. And then we went up, and we did a loop a roll, a hammerhead turn, which is up and down and then a little bit of a spin. And then we attempted to land on the pickup. What's the toughest stunt that you've ever had to do in the airplane? Well, I would say in a big crosswind, a really hard crosswind, landing on that pickup. Because if you get a big crosswind on that, what happens is, is you, you'll have a bow wave that comes off the side of the pickup and pushes a wing up and it's hard to get it down. So I'd say that'd be the hardest one right now. How fast are we going? We were going 120 miles an hour to start with, and then we uh, and then we uh, slowed down and did slower things. And after when we landed on a pickup, we were doing about 50 miles an hour. Our attempted to land. We did not land on a pickup. We attempted to land. Yeah. On yeah. yeah. I'm starting to feel a bit better here. As Good. I talk yeah, to yeah. You. You're actually getting some color back. Am I? Yes. You are. Feeling pretty uh, really pretty pasty right now. I'm still imagining the ride. I guess one last question would be. I mean, I, there I am in in the airplane with with the handicam going, with my eyes closed, uh -huh. just adjusting to this feeling of my stomach coming out of my mouth, going back inside. Um, how do you get used to that feeling? Well, you do practice, and then we do practice quite a bit on that and, and get used to that. And uh, after a while, it's second nature to do it. And another thing that isn't fair to you, it's when you're flying, you're ahead of the airplane, you know what you're going to do and where you're going to, so you're ahead of what you, your stomach knows what you're gonna, you're, you know what's next. And you really never were told by me that much. We were kind of in a hurry because we had to work in between all the acts here. So we just did a loop and roll really fast. And you really didn't get that, a pre-briefing. So you may be able to blame me for that a little bit. Well, thank you very much. It was an experience that I will never forget, well, trust me. It was a lot of fun. It was very nice meeting both of you guys. All right, a lot thank of fun. you. Thank you. All right, Greg Harper, alive and in the flesh with us this afternoon, buddy. Good you to made see it. Uh, I'm glad to see you two again. Believe me, <laughs> never again. Really? Never again. Never again. I would never do that again. Okay, we've no. got some video that you actually took while you were up there in the plane. Let's roll yep. the video here and talk us through it, man, because if, if you well, have a weak stomach, which you do, yeah. you said. I do. Um, well, uh, you know, in that plane, I mean, I'm used to obviously being in a commercial aircraft. I've been in a smaller plane before, the but Harper's normally I'm now. used to, look at this, yeah, he's oh, doing turns there. I didn't even know he had taken off. And all of a sudden, he's, I realized we're in the air, and he's like, okay, here we go. And as soon as he started, I don't know what he did. I think he made a hard left turn or something and went up. I mean, I just closed my eyes, my stomach. I was just getting sucked into my seat because of the G-force. It's a feeling I've never experienced before. I've been on some crazy rides, but that, that takes the cake. I mean, I, I, there, yeah, there's me with the Handycam. I'm trying to film this. I'm conscious of that, but I'm also like, please don't pass out. Please don't get sick. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. And there you go. You the see, he shuts off. Stops. He shuts yeah. off the engine there and we, we glide for a little bit and then you feel us start to fall and I'm like I said to him really loud because it was loud in there I never thought I'd be free falling in an airplane yeah. and he's like just like Tom Petty and he's laughing and I'm like this guy's crazy <laughs> So what, That's did, what, what did it feel like when you were doing the loop-de-loop? -loop? Like, could you feel your seatbelt cutting into your thighs? That you, no, you know? I, I thought that too when I buckled myself in. I just had a seatbelt along my waist here. And I'm like, is this going to be good enough? But the G-force is so powerful that you get sucked in. You can't move. You're, you're in your seat. So 
no, I didn't. There wasn't a lot of banging around. There's just you're just always getting sucked into your seat. Did so. you lose perspective of where you where the ground was? Oh where yeah, the sky was. I knew when we were going upside like down. He's like, "Isn't this cool?" And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> and he looks behind me and he's like, uh, "Are you doing okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Uh, but yeah, I'm great. I, I wasn't doing okay, but I made it through. Holy smoke! Congratulations. And thank nice you. Job. And that interview, by the way, with him, I had just gotten out of the plane. I'm down like this. Richard Paris, our cameraman, comes running up with his camera, and I, I'm like, "You know what? Let's do this." I don't feel good right now, but I. I want to keep this real and let, let's do this interview. So I was not feeling good when I Aww. talked to him. But that is one thing you will never forget for the rest of your life. No, An I'm, amazing opportunity. I'm glad I did it. But if the two of you ever want to do it, my advice, don't I had it. an opportunity to do it, but I, I wasn't allowed to. My we traffic to. plane days weren't quite that Yeah, I know. Mark Doherty did, though. You can find uh, also yeah. Mark's. Uh, Mark has some video. You can YouTube it. Mark put it on there. It's some amazing stuff you can see. So, okay. Thanks a lot, Greg. Abbotsford yeah. Air Show gets underway today. Runs yep. all weekend. Exactly. Right. Yep.